guys, it's Miss Gina. I want my special outfit for you, and I have something very special to show you. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, guys. It's me, Mr. Randy. I'm Miss Gina's best buddy in the whole world. And we have a very special treat for you today. Uh, we're going to show you some boa constrictors. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start over here and show you one that is going to give birth in about a week, God willing. She's a pregnant female boa. She is roughly five years old. And last year she had 19 babies. So hopefully this year she has at least 19, maybe 20 plus. That would be great. Now what I want to do is I will show you one of her babies that we had from last year. And that's a male. And he will be one years old next month. And he has many different genes in him which make him black, white, and even a little iridescent color in there, if you can see it on the camera. And he will be one years old very soon. And he can start breeding at one and a half to two years old. So hopefully he will make a good breeder one day as a male. And what I want to show you is this, how the snakes grow up. A little baby male and female. And here they go. And these are brothers and sisters. Brother and sister. And these are called sterling boas. And they're patternless for the most part except their tails. And they are, like I said, brother and sister. And they are just about a year old as well. And we will go here to another sterling boa that's two years old. That's a two-year-old female who just started eating rats and she is growing in size. And let's go here to a two-year-old male. And he's called a labyrinth jungle. And he is now breeding as well. Now here's a three-year-old female. So hopefully she'll be ready to breed and have some babies in about a year. What's an interesting fact about snakes and their babies? Now an interesting fact about boa constrictors, other than pythons or milk snake or corn snakes, is that boas have live birth. So the babies are born alive. There is no eggs involved. Where, as you probably learned in school from your very smart teachers, that most snakes have eggs and then the babies pop out of the eggs. Like I said, boas, which is the species that I work with, boa constrictors, they have live birth. The only snakes to have live the birth. The only reptiles to have live birth. So the only reptiles that give birth like a mammal. The only reptiles that give birth like mammals, that's correct. Here's another pregnant female. We're looking for her to have some babies very soon. You want to pick her up and show the how females. big she is? No, you can't. I'd rather just leave her alone while she's pregnant. Pregnant woman like to be just left alone just to relax. This is another pregnant female, and she'll be having babies in a couple of months as well. And here is one who is in shed. And we'll be having babies as well within the next few months. Any others? You have a lot more, but which ones do you want to show? This also shedding, who will be having babies in the next couple months. Very pretty woman. And here's one of my very special snakes that Miss Gina actually bought me three years ago for my birthday. And she is called a Sun Glow Leopard, and they are out of Mexico. And if you go look, you can see her eyes are red, and that's from the albino that's within her. And her name is Bubblegum. Her name is Bubblegum. This is a very nice birthday present for Miss Gina. You see how docile and nice she is? He's my buddy. I don't recommend you do that with snakes, but since I know her very well, it's okay. Let me see what else we got here. Once we got Shirley. This this species of boa here is called the blood boa. And obviously blood because of its blood red color. And she is very pretty. And the red eyes. All the different patterns. Can you give us some more facts about the snakes? Why do you spray them with water? Well, the reason why we spray the snakes with water, and if you see, you can see the, uh, the humidity in the cages.
because they live in a very tropical climate in Colombia, Mexico, uh, Venezuela, Argentina, and South America, where there are rainforests and the snakes like those temperatures, as well as to help them shed their skin so that it comes off in one piece. Are you looking to show a shed? Oh, there's actually two made in here if you'd like to show them. This is my last pair that's mating for the year. So hopefully we will have some beautiful babies. Why do, why do they live in... in and here's the snake in, shed. Hmm? Let me turn them around. Well, this, now the snake shed's in one piece, and they, get, they, they shed their skin every time they grow. And it's a big skin... I can get it unraveled. Ew. Ew, Miss Gina. It's gross. This is how the snake, and every time they see how vibrant the colors are in the snake after they shed, very beautiful. And she is a three year old female in June. She's very gentile and beautiful. Why do they what? Did you try to ask me, Miss Gina? Did you have a question? No. Okay, because you didn't raise your hand. <laughs> There's some more males over here in these drawers we could show you. Why do they live in drawers? They live in drawers because the back is hot, 90 degrees, the front is 72 degrees, and they can thermoregulate their temperature. Don't snakes like to climb on things? Well, bows are a little different. <clears throat> they don't need much space. Pythons tend to be more of climbers, but bows don't need too much space. They, they're more ground crawlers. And this one is a purple. If there's purple in the snake, if you can see that on the color. And this is one that I wouldn't recommend everybody holding. Just me and a couple other experienced snake holders. And you know what? There's a little bit of pee in here. So I'm going to clean it. I hope you enjoyed me and Miss Gina's snake video here. And if any of y'all kitties would like to come and see any of my snakes, that is not a problem. As long as your parents allow you and they bring you here, you can check them out. Peace out from our exotic animal farm.